Hi, San Antonio City Councilman Manny Palaya is here. I want to spend some time with you to talk about the rollout of the vaccinations here in San Antonio. You know, over the weekend, we had uh, on Saturday a mass vaccination sign up event. And, um, you know, as soon as the window opened to sign up, for those vaccinations. Within six minutes, they'd all been taken up. It was really amazing and, and frustrating uh, and kind of hard to understand, you know, but to put it in context for you, there was 180,000 people who called in to 311 that day. And when that window opened online, um, on the website, there were 11,000 people already signed in to the website, ready to hit that, um, you know, appointment button. And what a lot of folks um, who are frustrated don't realize is that there was only 9,000 vaccinations. So 187,000 calls, 11,000 people all hitting refresh on their website, and 9,000 vaccinations. And that frustrated a lot of you. Um, and you called me and, and thank you uh, to all of you who called me uh, with your concerns and your ideas on how we can improve this going forward at our next vaccination sign up events. Um, and I wanted to assure you that we are working with Metro Health and the city managers department to make sure that future events uh, go more and more smoothly as more and more supplies of the vaccine are made available to us. Now, I do think it's really important um, for me to explain that uh, manufacturers of the vaccine cannot keep up with demand right now. There's so much demand. And, you know, there's 1.5 million people in San Antonio alone. Almost every single one of them qualifies uh, for uh, the vaccine at some point, right? And manufacturers just can't keep up. And so as we get our allotments, they're going to fly off the shelves very, very quickly, as they have been. Um, and it's frustrating. And, and I've heard you loud and clear. Um, you're frustrated. Many of you are angry, uh, anxious, fearful. And I understand that because those are my concerns and fears and anxieties and, and anger, too. Because, you know, my family, well, we haven't gotten the vaccine either. We're also waiting. Um, and so I do want to reassure everybody that we're gonna get through this and we're gonna get through this together. Um, and that future events are entirely dependent upon you know, the manufacturers sending these vaccines to Texas and uh, the city of San Antonio's Metro Health Department being able to get their hands on uh, you know, enough. But I do think it's important that you remember that the city of San Antonio isn't the only entity out there uh, administering vaccines. You know, uh, a lot of hospital systems here in town, uh, the university health system, uh, Chris of Santa Rosa, WellMed, I know, uh, individual doctors, maybe your own uh, healthcare provider, they've been receiving allotments and they've been making sure to pump those out uh, very, very quickly. And, uh, you know, I've got a link right here for you where you can see the map of providers. Uh, and if you take a close look, you're going to realize that a lot of them are Northside providers. And um, that's because the medical center is right up here in District 8. We're very, very fortunate to have the medical center here. But as we progress, more and more vaccine is gonna be made available. And you're gonna start seeing not just doctors and hospitals and you know the city and the county uh, administering these things, but you're gonna start seeing CVS Pharmacy, Walgreens, even HEB um, you know, administer them as well. We just gotta be patient, okay? Um, Please remember that the first folks that we're trying to get vaccinated are healthcare providers, um, first responders. We're trying to make sure that folks who live in health uh, assistance facilities get, you know, in front of the line. People who are over 65, we want them in the front of the line as well, and also folks with pre-existing medical conditions. Um, and we are going to have to be patient. You've heard me use the, the word patience over and over again, but that's really what it's going to take. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through it together. Um, and I know that you're going to be the San Antonians uh, that you've always been, patient, compassionate, and understanding. Stick with us, okay, folks? We're all in this together. God bless you.